Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and in this video we are going to take a look at the Tronxy XY2 Pro printer. A printer that I bought for less than 140 euros including the shipping and well it's way cheaper than for example the Ender 3 V2 and I think it's a better printer. If you want to know more about this printer, well stay tuned. The assembly of the printer was very easy. There is a lower body and an upper gantry that have to be assembled and when that's done you only have to connect the large flat cable to the printer and some other cables into their motors. A flat cable that uses decent plugs by the way that goes into a board where the connections are separated into various cables for sensors, heaters and stepper motors. The printer has only one Z-axis lead screw that is mounted to the motor at the bottom of the frame and in the bearing at the top of the frame. Although I do prefer printers with a double Z-axis lead screw, I have not had any bad problems with this printer because of this single lead screw. At the front of the printer you can immediately see the large size touchscreen that can be mounted on the left or on the right side of the printer where it best suits your needs. The sensitivity of the screen is not that great and sometimes you have to press multiple times to make a selection but after getting used to it, it is worked fine. The design of the interface is very nice and both before the print and during the print you can adjust the mode needed settings on the fly. Another thing you will immediately see when you are looking at the printer is the proximity sensor that is located on the left of your hot end. This is a very simple yet effective proximity sensor that does a great job mesh leveling the print bed. I think however that it doesn't work well when the print bed is held down with clips because the clips are in the way of the sensor. This has nothing to do with the sensor but everything with the clips that are also in the way of the cooling duct. Looking at the side of the printer we see a very basic extruder that works fine but an upgraded extruder would be one of the first things for me to consider. However, you can order the printer with a Titan style extruder for only a couple of bucks extra directly from the official Tronxy store. I do like the fact that this printer comes with a filament runout sensor and uh, well it's not that I need a sensor like this pretty badly or something like that but uh, it makes sure that the filament won't hit the Z lead screw like on the Ender 3 V2 for example. I don't like the fact that the filament comes into the runout center under such a sharp angle but I think this is an easy fix and also well I don't really like how that flat cable is positioned here at the side but I think we'll, well it will be a more reliable flat cable than for example the flat cables used on the artillery and order printers that I tested. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good flat cable, but I don't like the fact that it's loose like this. At the back of the printer we see the cable that is connected to the bed and that also has a problem with the clips. Again, beds with clips are not a good combination. The cable is well isolated, but it's not protected with a strain relief and again, also this is an easy fix when you are in possession of a 3D printer. But yeah, I don't like it when printers don't have a strain relief on their print beds. Another thing we see, and this is for me the biggest drawback with this 3D printer, is the micro SD card slot that is located on the back of the printer. What was wrong with the designer of this printer that he or she made that decision? I mean, I do understand that the card reader is directly mounted on the motherboard and therefore this is the easiest location, yet even a child can understand that for users this is totally unusable at this location. The best thing you can do is buy a micro SD to SD converter with a cable and then mount that SD uh, slot on the front or the side of your printer so that it's uh, that is fixed. But this is a solution to a problem that should not have existed. Also, we can see that the belts are held wide by round wheels around the bearings, 
while G2 sprockets would have been more appropriate here. This is not a problem because it works just as fine, yet for the price, I'd, well, it wouldn't have had any extra cost to do it right. Then let's take a look at the results of the prints. Well, I've been testing this printer now for a few weeks and, uh, well, I have to say that I'm pleasantly surprised by this printer. The quality of the PLA and the PATG prints are perfect and also engine is printed without any problems. I have not tried ABS because I think that you should never print ABS on an open printer like this. Engine is a printer filament that prints like PLA but is as durable and heat resistant as ABS. At the moment of making this video, this printer sells on AliExpress for less than 140 euros for the version with the standard extruder and around 150 euros for the version with the Titan type extruder. And I think this is very cheap, but I've also seen this printer on other websites for around 350 euros. So take a look where you buy this printer and if this deal is still a good deal. I think that a low price like 140 to 150 euros is really a bargain for a printer like this. Out of the box, the printer is very usable and prints with a decent quality. You will have to make some changes yourself for both safety, like for example the strain relief, and for ease of use, like the magnetic bed so that you can get rid of the stupid clips. But when you have done that, you have a printer that costs way less than an Ender 3 V2 and that has more features like mesh bed leveling, a filament runout sensor and a really working resume print function that can be used to pause a print when you want to and restart the print, for example, the next day without keeping the printer uh, powered on in between. If you like this review, then please let me know by hitting the like button. And also, if you want to buy this printer or the parts that I mentioned, then well, please use the affiliate links that are under this video because it helps the channel a lot. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and that you hit that notification bell because then you will be notified every time I make a new video. Thanks for watching and have a great 3D printing experience. Bye bye!